this is my lineup analysis output window for Huddle Sports Code. So what this output window does is it takes a bunch of timelines that have been databased together, or just a single game timeline, and it tells you what players impact winning. So what I've done here is I've just put my home team down below, which is Ohio State, and then since I've databased a bunch of games together, I've just put the away team as opposition. I then just use the rename function for these toggle buttons, and I'm going to select my lineup. Now, you can just select one, two, three, four, but I'm going to select a whole five-man lineup to give a, a really good visual for this output window. And then you've got the lineup plus minus below that, which is plus 36, which is, you know, pretty good. And then on offense and on defense, and then you've got with this lineup on the court and then without this lineup on the court. So the data points that we've got are minutes, possession numbers, field goal, two-point shots, three-point shots, effective field goal, points per position, points per pace, and we'll get to points, uh, sorry, we'll get to pace soon. Points per 40 minutes, assists, and then assists per pace. Offensive rebounds, turnovers, and both per pace. And on defense, you've got those same stats. Then you've got some defensive exclusive stats, such as blocks, defensive rebounds, and steals, all with the raw numbers, as well as the per pace. Below that, you've got the position types, with and without this lineup on the court. You've got half-court positions, transition positions, fast-break positions, against man defense, and against zone defense. Then the data you've got for those is points per position, number of positions, and then points per adjustable pace. So what is pace? Because I've said it about 20 times. So pace is essentially the number of the number of positions you have per 40 minutes. Now the reason we standardize a lot of these data points per that number is that because you might not always have an even contribution of data. Say, for example, one lineup plays 30 minutes, then another lineup plays 60 minutes. Or you might also just have a small, uh, a small sample size in general, you know, just a one or two games database together. So what this pace does is standardizes a bunch of these statistics so you get a more reliable, well-rounded number. So you can change that below. So I've just put it at 74, so 74 positions per 40 minutes. And then, for example, with points, we can see that this lineup with them on the floor, they score 62.9 points per pace, or 62.9 points per 40 minutes or per 74 positions per 40 minutes. And you can compare that to other lineups and see how they perform per that pace number. So to the right of that, we've got the shot charts. So we can see with this lineup on the court, we can see how well they space the floor, how much they're reliable on certain areas of the court to shoot from. And then when I toggle with shot type, I can see how this lineup performs from different shot types. So we can see where they're reliable on the catch and shoot three or if they're reliable on post-ups. We can see how many points they score per shot category, how much they rely on it in the frequency category, and then how many, what percentage of their points come from this particular shot type. Then I can press team action, and I can see how well this particular lineup performs in certain team actions, such as pick and roll, or horns, or pick and pop. I haven't put any of those down here, but we can see there's the shooting efficiency, points per shot category, or sorry, points per team action, the frequency that they run that team action, and the percentage of points that come from that team action, and then the outcome percentage, which is what percentage of those team actions result in an uncontested shot or an opposition foul. So this output window has a lot of data and you can get a lot of conclusions from it. So you can see what is your best starting five for the half court positions or defending zone or what is your best five man lineup for three point shooting percentage or what is your best um, five man lineup for defending three point shots and see you know the opposition three point percentage or how well does this five man lineup cause steals or um, how what's like this lineup you know how how many assists do they make or what's their points per position what's their effective field goal percentage and you can compare it with and without them on the court so it's really you know well rounded you can get a lot of data from it so that's this output window the final thing i'll mention is that every single button on this window has movie functionality relative to what players are selected so no matter what players you have here one two three four or five selected you're going to get the exact movie you want from the exact button that it's showing so I want to see all the steals without this lineup on the court. I just have to press this button here. I want to see all the assists with this lineup on the court. I can press press this button here. I want to see all the three-point shots without this lineup on the court on defense. I just have to press this button here. So obviously there's a lot of um, movie functionality that can help you review your team in any given situation. So if you have any questions about this output window, my email is in the description below, as well as a tutorial video to show you how to set this window up. And also a link to my website if you ever feel like you want to purchase this output window along with the whole basketball pack. Thank you very much and I hope you learned something.